Well, we have uncovered some new information about a key player in the bid rigging investigation that targets Harris County's leader, Judge Lena Hidalgo, and some of her senior staff. And Fox 26 political reporter Greg Rugan, you might remember, broke this story back in August and is now back with the newest development. Greg. John and Caitlin, we've learned a former member of Judge Hidalgo's inner circle who the Texas Rangers believe tampered with government documents and misused official information has been given a new job and you, the taxpayer, are still funding his salary. One of Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo's senior aides implicated in an alleged $11 million bid rigging scheme left her staff for a new job just five days after Texas Rangers served search warrants on the judge and members of her inner circle. An open records request by Fox 26 revealed Aaron Dunn began his employment at the Harris County Flood Control District as a flood resilience planner on March 16th, nine days before the court release of Ranger affidavits implicating Dunn and two others in the potentially illegal steering of a COVID communication contract to a little known one woman firm called Elevate Strategies. When things happen that closely, it's no coincidence. It's Rice political analyst Mark Jones says Dunn's rapid displacement smells rotten. It's probably a way to get him to go someplace else and perhaps remain quiet about what he knows about Judge Hidalgo's involvement in this whole sordid affair. Personnel records obtained by Fox 26 indicate the move for Dunn was lucrative, with his taxpayer funded salary increasing from $111,000 to $125,000 per year. What's more, the senior flood control job for which he was selected was never publicly posted for other applicants to pursue. While Hidalgo says she's been advised by attorneys not to comment on the investigation, the judge's political adversaries have plenty to say. Former federal prosecutor Vidal Martinez is one of two Republican candidates seeking to dislodge the incumbent from office. A responsible, honest public official would send anyone on their staff that got subpoenaed or had a search warrant um, issued against them, would send them home with pay pending an investigation. You would not encourage a person or allow a person to go and make to another department and make more money during that process. It's the exact opposite of what most responsible public officials would do. Dr. Jones sums it up this way. The evidence is so clear cut and the smell is so bad that it's not something that can be swept under the rug. It's Multiple legal experts and sources familiar with the case anticipate additional warrants will be served and additional targets revealed before this investigation of alleged corruption is complete. In the newsroom, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.